after many, many years, <laughs> about many, many years, something like two years <laughs> or something, True Detective has been one of the most suggested, um, I would say, TV shows that has been suggested on the channel. And, you know, it came back around again for me asking for suggestions. And I saw that True Detective, especially season one of the show, has been recommended or suggested for the longest for me to watch. So here we are, True Detective finally here. Now, I am going to try my best to finish this season this weekend um, in this recording session here because I realize that it's only eight episodes. Now, how long is it gonna take me to edit these eight episodes after this weekend? Who knows? This might be out on early access pretty early, guys. So if you are watching this on the regular channel, just know as always that people are enjoying this on early access if you want to just binge watch my reactions for these eight episodes i believe it's eight episodes right um make sure that you go ahead and sign up for that either on the channel membership on the original on my original channel as link is down in the description or you can join the patreon both of them have early access at you know over there okay so if you guys know anything about this channel you know i just dive in to these shows not knowing what's going to happen don't really look up any information about the show and stuff like that because i don't want any kind of spoilers at all so usually i do search specific things especially when i'm doing when i'm looking for backgrounds and stuff like that to do these videos um to put up here like this one behind me i usually very vague but sometimes certain things are revealed to me sometimes not necessarily story plot but like actors and actresses and stuff like that is going to be in the show so i did realize that matthew mcconaughey and woody harrelson seem to be the star of this tv show or at least for this season because i think it's um i think it's like a seasonal thing where it's just like different people um and different stories told for each season i know there's three seasons out currently so a lot of people has been saying season one of true detective is the best the second one not so well <laughs> so we're going to watch them all guys but we're definitely going to be doing season one then we'll take a break and then we'll come back for season two now um as i said you guys already know you what to do i don't i don't understand why we got to come on here and force you guys or plead with you guys please hit the like button <laughs> You know, you guys know that is out to support the videos if you're not going to put your money where your mouth is and go watch some early episodes. Right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The least you can do is comment on the videos and like the videos, okay? To at least help us in this chaos of an algorithm on YouTube, all right? So let me know what you think. Also, there's also this as well. I've had trouble with HBO in the past. I do not want to get in trouble with these people again, okay? So I'm going to thread the waters, tread these waters very carefully when it comes on to HBO shows. So we'll see what happens. Let's go watch episode one of True Detective and I will see you guys at the end for the review. What do you think? You paired up with him. What do I think? <laughs> well, you don't pick your parents and you don't pick your partner. You know, they, they used to call him the tax man for a while. He come out of Texas, so nobody knew him. Seemed a bit raw bone to me, edgy. Took three months till we got him over to the house for dinner. 
around our big 419. That's what you all want to hear about, right? Dor Lang, kids in the woods. Yeah, sure. But uh, talk about Cole. We uh, heard some stories. Kind of a strange guy, huh? Strange. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Dora Lang. Yeah, Cole. Ritual. Murder. Oh, you assholes. You want to hear this or not? Matthew McConaughey is, is is legendary, man. Vermilion Sheriff requested assistance with the 419 cane fields outside of Erath. I had been on the job about three months till then. Two previous cases were open and shut. It was January the 3rd, 1995, my daughter's birthday. I remember. It's never good when series start out with characters in front of cameras. It's always a journey. Damn. You ever see something like this? No, sir. Eight years CID. Them symbols. The satanic. They How do you know? <laughs> years back. ID? No, sir. Look at your marks on her wrist, ankles, and knees. Multiple shallow stab wounds to the abdomen. Hemorrhaging around throat. Lividity at the shoulders, thighs, and torso. She'd been on her back a while. Before he moved her. You know, I, I've seen all the different types. We all fit a certain category. And... Any of those types could be a good detective, and any of those types could be an incompetent shitheel. A lot of it had to do with how they manage authority. There can be a burden in authority, in, in, in vigilance, like a father's burden. It's too much for some men. Rust, now his Texas files were classified or redacted, and he wasn't big on talking, except when you wanted him to shut up. But he was smart. Yeah. Second week we were together, I, I saw where he was living. Kind of made me feel for the guy. What kind of living could it be so pitiful? Yeah, I tell you guys, and believe me, past a certain age, a man without a family can be a bad thing. Past a certain age. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> it can be a bad thing. Yeah, we've encountered a metapsychotic, which I had to explain to Marty what metapsychotic was. I don't know what a metapsychotic is, is either. <laughs> Nor it's happened before. Go on. It's fantasy enactment, ritual, fetishization, iconography. This is his vision. Her body is a paraphilic love map. How's that? An attachment of physical lust to fantasies and practices forbidden by society. There's decent odds she was a frost. I mean, you might not have known her, but... This idea goes way back with him. You got a chapter in one of those books on jumping to conclusions? <laughs> you attach an assumption a piece of evidence you start to bend the narrative to support it prejudice yourself okay good advice this kind of thing does not happen in a vacuum i guarantee this wasn't his first it's too specific anyway that evening it wasn't even sundown he decided it was a good time to invite me over for dinner which i got a problem with because like, I'm thinking about Marty's wife and his two kids and how it's my daughter's birthday and I know I just, there's nothing I can do about it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but I'm going to have a drink. So he drank before he got there. People out here, it's like they don't even know that outside world exists. What happened to his daughter? 
I think something happened to his Mother daughter. Living on the fucking moon. You're Christian, yeah? No. Um, what, what do you got the cross for in your apartment? Uh, it's a form of meditation. I contemplate the moment in the garden, the idea of allowing your own crucifixion. Okay, weirdo. We get it. <laughs> this but man is not Christian. So what do you believe? I believe that people shouldn't talk about this type of shit at work. Hold on, hold on. Three months we've been together, I, I, I get nothing from you. Today, what we're into now, do me a courtesy, okay? I'm not trying to convert you. Look, I'd consider myself a realist, all right? But in philosophical terms, I'm what's called a pessimist. It means I'm bad at parties. Let me tell you, you ain't great outside of parties either. <laughs> We are creatures that should not exist by natural law. Well, that sounds what? God fucking awful, Rush. We are <laughs> things that labor under the illusion of having a self, this accretion of sensory experience and feeling, programmed with total assurance that we are each somebody, when in fact everybody's nobody. I wouldn't go around spouting that shit I was you. People <laughs> around here don't think that way. I don't think that way. I think the honorable thing for our species to do is deny our programming, stop reproducing. The real answer is that it's obviously my programming, and I lack the constitution for suicide. Three months, <laughs> I don't hear a word from you, and... You asked. Yeah, and now I'm begging you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> This man has a very bleak outlook on Good life. Days, Jeez. Let's make the car a place of silent reflection <laughs> from now on. Okay? <laughs> is that his daughter? What should I ring for dinner? A bottle of wine would be nice, I guess. So this was before. This is like right after they left the drink. crime scene. Like I said, I'm feeling a lot of stuff hit me at this time. My daughter's birthday, this dead woman. And, um, dinner at Marty's, you know, till the Jillo called or we got an ID. Uh, state rights gave me some addresses to follow up on so far. Nobody, nobody. Is that coal me. medicine? I think that's Roboticin. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's what that was. Evening, ladies. I hope I can ask y'all a few questions. Come on, man. I'll get the next round. <laughs> you making trouble for us, sir? No, I'm just looking to get some information on a woman. Either one of you know a woman about your age. She works the same place. A five foot five, blonde, like you. What kind of she have? Medium, a little larger than yours, proportionate to the body, natural. Gee, I don't know. We, we see a lot of girls like that around. Any girls like that? I hadn't seen around lately. People come and go. What do you want them for? Oh, I wouldn't bust somebody for hooking or drugs. I'm murder police. There's a girl named Liza, another called Destiny, but I, I seen Destiny yesterday at McDonald's. What about Liza? She's here. Why didn't you come to bed? Uh, caught up. A bad one yesterday. I just couldn't sleep. You had that one from your ass? Yeah. yeah. It's not on the news. The last couple days. Oh shit! I got a shower. Got a debriefing today, and then maybe a press conference later. <laughs> Friends came back. Dora Kelly Lang, prize for shoplifting, possession, and solicitation. She was washed clean, not a print on her. We got liquid marks on the wrists and ankles. It's bound by a half-inch rope, maybe 10, 20 hours. Evidence of vaginal intercourse. Bound upright, hadn't eaten in a day, maybe more. Toxicology hit for lysergic acid and methamphetamine. It's crystal and LSD. How much LSD? Hard to say. Gotta wait for a mass spec. So she was drugged, bound, tortured with a knife, strangled posed out there. What about this stuff? Well, the crown, for lack of a better word, rose thorns, early cane, switchgrass, wrapped around a bent branch. Again, no prints on anything. Ideas what Amos means? 
It's all primitive. It's like cave paintings. Maybe you ought to talk to an anthropologist. What a trouble this guy went to. Seems real personal. I don't think so. It's iconic. Planned. And in some ways, it was impersonal. Think of the blindfold. Did you know the Fontenot girl? One went missing. Her? Her family come to our service once or twice, five or six years back. Can I ask you something? Any of these look familiar to you? Seen them anywhere? No. No, they uh, look like something that might be carved into a tree or something. Mm -hmm. How about these? Now, that looked like something my old auntie taught us how to make when I was a tyke. Some folks call them bird traps. Old auntie told us that they were devil nets. You put him around the bed, catch the devil before he get too close. That's interesting. I always just thought it was something for children to do. Keep them busy. Tell them stories why they tie sticks together. Now that's all we got on the Fontenot girl. Well, there's nothing in here. It's just possible report made in error. Now that was five years ago. Ted Childers was sheriff back then. Ten-year-old girl goes missing. That doesn't go statewide. Now hold on now. My understanding, a little girl went off with her birth daddy. Now, did you check her mom's record? Possession, solicitation. I believe Ted knew the family, and the feeling was little girl's better off with her daddy. Mom seemed to agree. She filed a complaint and never bothered with it again. Took off with her boyfriend. R and I said you had a complaint these parts around December. I pulled that one for you, too. What the hell is this? Little girl said a green-eared spaghetti monster chased her through some woods. Now, we had her work with a sketch artist. And she told us that looked exactly right. Listen, boys, I'm gonna have to call a time out, make a beer run. Well, why don't you hold off on that for a while? Well, is this supposed to be admissible? Hmm? You wanna pick my brain, you work a room, you buy a man a cheeseburger and a coke, don't you? I'll take a six or an old Milwaukee or Lone Star, nothing snooty. Why is this so important to you all of a sudden? Because it's Thursday and it's past noon. Thursday is one of my days off. On my off days, I start drinking at noon. You don't get to interrupt that. <laughs> All right, so he's definitely not the killer, but it seems like they're under his investigation, though. <clears throat> Something happened. I'd appreciate a little hustle up on that. <laughs> Charlie, mm -hmm. let's talk about your ex, Dora Lane. What she said I've done now? Nothing. We're just curious if you knew what she's been up to, maybe where she's living. Nope. She got a habit? <laughs> yeah, a few. Weed, meth, juice, name it. Charlie, how'd y'all meet? Throwed up together, dropped out, same time. Hitched up way too quick. You know how it is. You want a wife, but only half the time. Why are you saying you hadn't heard from her? She called up here for you not too long ago. I mean, she couldn't help me anyway, man. She's not fucked up. You see, that that's exactly the kind of thing that we do want to know about, though, John. Oh, all right. I uh, need some scratch from a store, and Dory owes me money. She ain't got no fucking phone, so got a number to a friend, Carla. Got her to call me back, and she ain't made no fucking sense. What do you mean she didn't make sense? Like she could duck hunt with a rape. Talking about she's going to become a nun. Uh, talking about... She met a king. Anyway. I don't need no snitch jacket up in here. Psst. Give me a break. This is the Voyles. It's a goddamn day camp. I'm surprised you even got Aryan Nation here. What do I do? Dory's dead. Thank you, boys. We almost had a moment there. So you wanna talk the whole case through or just the end? No. Whole story from your end, you don't mind. You know, like he said, Powell got ruined. Hurricane Rita. Well, what he didn't say is that this is about something else. Something new that one of Lake Charles, maybe. I don't know why you see that. You know anything about that? Yeah, let me see what you got. Yeah, I have my memory. Well, let's hear your story first. <laughs> see how it fit with what we got. Talking cold. What about that dinner you mentioned? Well, <clears throat> That dinner, that, that was a bit later. What the hell? You can't barely stand up. What, you, you, don't, you don't drink with me or the boys. 
And you gotta get a load on before you visit my family. No, Mark, it's not like that. I didn't mean to, all right? I don't drink because I've had trouble with it before. I didn't mean to. I was checking out a CI and ended up hanging around a bar. Oh, sitting there, I couldn't think of good reason not to. And usually I can. Don't worry about it. Uh, have some more coffee and just try to make 10 minutes of conversation. You got it. I'll call Chris or somebody and get you out of here. So, you and Cole went bad in 02, huh? Heard about that. Yeah, well, what happened between That's me and him? a lot him of details. Nothing to do with Dora Lang. I worked with Russ Cole for seven years. The thing, the thing about it is this, right? I know you guys are probably new to my channel. If you are watching me for the first time, what I usually do is first couple of episodes, I don't talk as much because I want to understand what is going on. Then I'll talk about it in a review. I don't normally like on a regular basis talk a lot during my um, during my reactions because I really do want to pay attention to the to the dialogue and what's happening and not over talk and, you know, over talk what's going on in the show and stuff like that. And that causes me. To concentrate a lot more than you know usual if there's something to comment on i will pause the video to talk about it um when it comes on to what is going on right now it's really just getting to know these characters this murder that's happened um to this lang you know prostitute or whatever they trying to figure out what happened obviously this might be something that leads into um you know, this might be a serial killer. It could be just a one-off, you know, reason why this person got killed in this manner, being set up this manner. Um, but at the very least, we know that Russ, <laughs> he's he's got a problem with the world in general. So it's, it's not, you know what I'm saying? I don't think he is like the person that killed um, Miss Lang or, you know, I don't think he's the person, but man, does he share the the, the traits, <laughs> the traits. He's a loner. Um, you know what I'm saying? Lives by himself, but he can also understand why he's the way how he is, though, based on the stuff that we learn about his past. Right. He was divorced because I don't know what happened to his kid. That's the thing to him. Why is his records? um also redacted as well back in texas like that's also a mystery as well like what happened there so there's a lot of questions and i'm pretty sure they're gonna figure out a way to work it around some way but i'm loving the character so far i'm loving the atmosphere and stuff like that of this show so we'll see how things go let's, let's continue people change relationships change Stay in touch. So they had a falling out no. in 02? I haven't talked to Russ mm. in 10 years. Sheesh. Yeah. So what, it's like 2012? Well, however we... show came out, I think? He was a good detective. And it don't matter how we ended it, 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 I mean... I can say that because it's the truth. And okay. I, I don't hold grudges. I, I, I believe that's the shit that leads to cancer. <laughs> but why am I talking about dinner? Y'all you, you want to walk through the lane case? Fine. This other stuff, what, what's going on? Yeah, what is going on? on? We just heard some stories. Well, personally, I heard he was a ace case man, right? I'd like to understand his process. They're investigating something, man. That has Gosh. to do with this. 
Sure. Back to Open handed yeah, slap for that matter. <laughs> no one close to her, naturally. Few names recognize her as occasional. Like she tricked now and then, show up a couple of truck stops when she needed cash. You ain't you even try to slap him back, not that. Uh, from my AP guy, Marie Fontenot. Said her uncle's uh, Danny Fontenot, pitcher, LSU. Yeah, I watched him play. He's a great player. He lives close by. <clears throat> well, thanks, guy. You might know the Reverend Tuttle. He runs our statewide charity drive. This is Detective Hart, Detective Cole. Very, Very good sir. to meet two officers. Mr. Cole. Your case has a lot of people taking care. Doors locking where they used to not. Ed has been speaking to me about it concerned, very concerned. We've been discussing the viability of a task force to investigate crimes with an anti-Christian connotation. You what? Really? Yes. I don't need to tell men of your positions, but there is a war happening. Behind things. Thank you for doing your part. Thank you, sir. Yeah. yeah. Eddie's going to be very, very pleased to have such good men working on this. <laughs> you kidding me? You know, the fuck's Eddie? Huh? Yeah, who is Eddie? Is he serious? Well, he uh, doesn't have a television. Who's Eddie? And he's from Texas. He's the fucking governor. Edwin Tuttle. Uh -huh. They're first cousins. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, that's the sound of the big machine, Cole. It's gearing up to pound your ass. <laughs> a gaggle of hands. Yeah, you better watch your mouth or they're going to peck your eyes out. Up and told me to make sure and give them to Detective Hart and no one else. Is that the, uh... The depositions. I thought I should walk you through them. Oh, great, great. Let's just find a place to talk. Uh, thanks, Kathleen. Thank you. You're welcome. Is this a side piece or something? <laughs> I'm jumping to assumptions. <laughs> Missing girl, five years gone. Report made narrow. She had an uncle who lived nearby. I'm gonna call it intuition. We wanted to ask you about your niece, Marie. Hmm. How much could you put on one family? I asked the Lord. We try to get by. Did you know Marie's birth father? Lynn. Lynn Strokes was her daddy. Hmm. We're asking because, uh, we had heard that Marie ran off with him and they, she wasn't really missing. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what Debbie said. Well, uh, has anybody heard from Lenny? Any, anybody maybe knows where he's at? Uh, sorry, last thing. Do you know where Debbie is now? She married another man. Not the one she's with, with Marie. She was in Vegas last we heard. We weren't her legal guardians, but she played here all the time. More than her mama's. Who's it there, as if you don't mind my asking? All they ever told us was a cerebral event. A cerebral. Like. Series of strokes. Inside on the floor on the right. Dead animal? Something that belongs to her, maybe? Blood? Ooh! I don't know what that is. I haven't looked in there since the police first came. Bet you want to hear the hero shout, huh? A place we carried the kids out. Eventually, sure. So what does she look like? I want to like John. Can you uh, tell us anything about that, Mr. Cole? Yeah, it looks
looks a lot like the one from 95. Well, you knew that already. Yeah, there is specifics consistent to the 95 case. Details they weren't public knowledge. You were off the grid for eight years, right? Show back up here in 2010. My question is, how could it be him? If we already caught him in 95. So they did how catch many him. Did detectives? I figured you'd be the one to know. And start asking the right fucking questions. Bruh. <laughs> Yo. Alright. Let's switch back. <laughs> what am I doing? Um the greatest thing about any TV show that you can do at any given moment when it comes on to setting the tone is to pull your audience in in the first episode and boy do i want to know what happens next <laughs> i want to know what has been going on in this town i mean now at the end of the episode they're revealing to us that they did catch somebody in 95 so why is there another another murder that similar to this could be a copycat of course um you know what happened was this a okey doke that is you know they caught the wrong person um this is a problem you know what i'm saying this is a problem so to to say the least when it comes on to performances in tv in tv shows this is my first time ever seeing matthew mcconaughey in a tv show i don't i don't think this is i don't think this might be as first you guys can let me know if this is his first time doing tv shows i don't know this is my first time watching him in a tv show i've always liked matthew mcconaughey whether he's funny in a movie whether he's super dramatic in a movie even outside of hollywood i've always liked this character i've always loved his interviews and stuff like that even his commercials i do enjoy as well i think he's a phenomenal actor um you know what I'm saying? Just overall, his career has just really been one of those. You know what I'm saying? Le le you know, you can put him up there with the likes of Leonardo DiCaprio, Denzel Washington. You know what I'm saying? Sidney Potty, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That just passed the other day as well. Um, you can put him up there. Matthew McConaughey has the potential to probably be top five actor of all times to be honest because he has those chops you know what i'm saying so happy to see him in this series um of course woody harrelson as well woody harrelson most of the stuff that i enjoy from woody harrelson has always been very funny roles that he has played in the past i've seen some of his more serious roles as well um you know it's pretty cool i still haven't seen I know he was in Venom too. I still haven't seen that movie. I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> you know. Um. So I'm looking forward to seeing how their performance really push each other forward. There's some other familiar faces in the show as well. Of course, it's very star-studded, which is something that HBO does all the time. They really do pull great talent from Hollywood to do their TV shows. Um. A lot of times. So, um. This is no different so uh, um we'll see if they extend the cast into even you know greater actors or whatever the situation is we'll see as the season go along but such a performance in this episode one them finding you know what i'm saying just just the character of matthew mcconaughey alone right russ or rusty cone <laughs> his name is rusty cone i just realized that his name is rusty cone <laughs> anyways um the situation is his character is very intriguing because he has a very bleak outlook on the world itself you know what i mean um i think what happened to his daughter um has affected him in some way maybe he used to be different before and this is kind of you know his daughter dying 
um, probably changed his perspective on his outlook on the world. And this happens to a lot of people, guys. This is not unique to, to a character in a TV show. This happens in real life where, you know, people lose somebody very close to them and their outlook on life just completely changes. And, you know what I mean? Um, they just don't feel like life is worth living. And he also went on to explain, you know, even say that he, he it's like he doesn't really have the, the fortitude to commit suicide else he would have done it already because the way how he looks at life now is like we're 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 like a blemish on existence and in, in, in time it's like we we get in our own way we became too self-aware and all of this other stuff and we can all sit down and discuss this stuff but that's a very bleak outlook to have there's no optimism um in words like that and saying things like that and it's always to the point of where it's like you think this person is not normal right but really it's just a lot of that stuff can come from ptsd just experiencing something very tragic and stuff like that so you're like you know what is this existence you know what i'm saying you, the the human existence is not even worth it you know what i mean so why even do it why even go to these lens say he's only he doesn't even like his job he's just doing it because he's good at it and that's never a good sign for a cop <laughs> you know what i'm saying you should never be a cop if you don't want to be one you get what i'm trying to say you could be it's kind of like going to the army and be like i'm just doing this because i'm good at it that's not a good reason to be in the army my guy it's just, it's just not a good it's not a good enough reason you know what i'm saying to be a soldier you know what i'm saying it's not a good reason to be in a, a police officer a detective whatever it is anytime it comes on to any kind of um job that bears that kind of responsibility it's never a good thing to do it unless you want to do it you can't just be doing it just because it pays the bills that is you know what i'm saying even though i know that this is something that does happen i'm not saying that every police officer is out there doing this because they want to do it you know what i'm saying as obviously there's going to be people who do this just because it's a job it's an extremely dangerous job to just be doing it just for to to pay bills you get what i'm saying um so totally understand and it's the same thing with being like a a a um a fireman or um a doctor you know what i'm saying a medical doctor i should say uh because there's different aspects of it right the, the, you can't just be doing that stuff just because because the the area of care that needs to be there and also the danger as well you know what i'm saying it's just it's through the roof so you can't just you can't just look at that stuff like some whatever situation you know what i'm saying it just it just can't be so for me when it comes on to the show and what i'm looking forward to seeing how this case develops because of course they're probably going to show us how they caught who they caught or who they pinned this on probably i don't know how it went down because this is very strange and shaping up to be very cool as well i love shows that kind of start out with people giving like a testimony or something like that being investigated you always know that it's going to be a great journey up to a something some kind of great reveal right so it, it's one of those things man where i really do um enjoy watching the show so far with episode one i'm really in that's what i'm really enjoying about it so i'm going to go jump into episode two you guys don't forget to hit the like button on your way out don't forget to comment on the video and as well it's your boy terabyte reacts and i will catch you guys later man peace